first day, we were only out here about an hour and a half uh, due to NFL rules. Um, but I thought we got to, you know, look, it was a good start. Uh, we got a long way to go. So um, can't give you a lot of big evaluations on where everybody's at and what everybody's, where they're at on the depth chart and all those kinds of things. Um, day one of training camp, but a good start. Yes, yeah. The up downs to start the day is that kind of a tone setting thing? Yeah, um, that that was started under Greg Williams, and and I've kept that going um, all the way through being a coordinator and head coach. And look, it's just part of the it's part of the buy-in. What is there anything you're doing different from a tempo standpoint, amount of team drills, speed of team drills, like anything that you that no, will I, notice out here that's different from? Well, I don't know that you're going to notice a ton from a structure standpoint. Um, the attention to detail and the, and the demand, um, I think, has, has to be higher. Um, you know, because, look, and I've said this, you know, what we've done has not been good enough. We all, we're all man enough to under, uh, understand that and accept that, um, and we need to be better. And to do that, I think we've got to demand more out of ourselves and each other. How do you feel you came out of the first day health-wise with like a couple players might have left? Um, yeah, look, I think um, overall uh, decent. I think uh, Heron, they were just checking out his knee a little bit. Um, initial indication is that they don't think it's much. Uh, Kendra's got a hamstring. Um, so, uh, look, that's a player that's going to have to figure out how to, how to, how to stay healthy because it's hard to make the team um, you know, when you're in the training room all the time. You're referring to Kendra, Kendra Miller, you mean? Correct. Who's the first player, sir? Justin. Oh. And um, you, know, you had mentioned that Alvin Kamara would be out here today. How do you feel in terms of what you saw from him? Yeah, there? look, I mean, he looked good out here. Um, I liked what I saw. I appreciate the fact that he's out here. He's working with his teammates. Um, he's got a positive attitude. And, uh, you know, so that, that's, been, that's been good. I'm, I'm excited about that. I'm happy about that. Dennis, another guy out here today was Chase Young. Uh, I was over with you when you were kind of. What, what, what was the conversation like? He, he did a drill, a blocking drill, and you kind of brought him. The yeah, side look, I, I think it's a, there's just some fundamental things that we teach that may be different than um, what he's been used to maybe in the past, and so I think that's part of the coaching process, understanding how we're going to do things. Um, you know, his his process is going. to you know, it, it's going to take a little bit of time before we kind of get him out here and get him acclimated fully into practice. But, um, look, I think that's the first time he's hit anything, um, you know, probably since the season last year. So I think part of it is, you know, let's get him uh, indoctrinated into um, walkthroughs today, a little bit of individual um, and then see how he responds. And if he responds well, we'll try to do a little bit more tomorrow. Dennis, would you say you're more confident with where Trevor Penning is now and maybe his ability to get to where you need him than you've been in past years or not? Um, yeah, look, I mean, he's going into year three, you know, so this is this is kind of the year that he needs to uh, really step up and, and, and make some progress. And, and I saw some of that, you know, in the spring, and hopefully he'll be able to continue that into uh, – you know, throughout training camp and into this fall, um, and, and look, I think, I think as much as anything for him, it's developing that confidence in himself uh, that he belongs here and that he can do the things that are necessary, uh, you know, to play at this level. And I believe he can, and and I'm going to give him an opportunity to see what he can do. You still believe in the skill set as much as you did when you drafted? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, th it's it's. Um, it's really more, I don't think the skill set is a challenge. You know, now, some of the fundamentals and techniques and being able to utilize those better and understand how to utilize those better, I think that's something he's got to improve on. Um, but in terms of his athletic ability and his skill set to play the position, he's got everything we need. I think he was saying yesterday how he's kind of maybe observed this team has a chip on its shoulder. I'm wondering if what you've noticed of that, Abby, do you agree with that? Or? Um, yeah, I'd say we need to. You know, I, I'd say we need to have a little bit of chip on our shoulder. Um, and, and so I, I think we've approached the season that way. 
Uh, I know I've approached the season that way. I think our players have too, and um, I think we have something to prove. But, you know, ultimately what it really boils down to is us being out here, putting in the work, uh, being demanding on ourselves and each other, holding each other accountable, um, and then going out and, and, and functioning and operating at a high level when we have a chance to do that. And, and so that's, um, that's really what it's about. I don't know if you saw a clip. It was of the St. Brown's Brothers broadcast and Amon St. Rod Brown on the um, on the Lions. He was saying that like no one in the receiver room, like of the Saints, believes that they can win the Super Bowl. EQ was pretty adamant that that's not, and then Cam Jordan got in. But like to see kind of the response from players that they do believe they, they can win a Super Bowl. Just what do you make of that, and what, what do you kind of notice of, of the belief maybe your team has? Well. A, I would say nobody outside of our building knows what's going on inside of our building. I'd say that first of all. Uh, and secondly, I'd say that, um, you know, I think our guys feel like they, they have something something to prove. And uh, But nothing that is said means anything. It, it all, it all it boils down to what you're willing to sacrifice out here on a daily basis um, and the amount of work that you're willing to put in. Dennis, how do you look at the first play of that team period when Demario steps in front and gets a pick six? Are you initially like excited because it's a defense? How do you look at it as the head coach? Here's the great thing about the, being the head coach is that when there's a play that's made, you get to be excited either way, right? You know, um, if the offense makes a big play, yeah, I get excited about that. Now there's challenges and things we have to fix on the other side of the ball, right? And so uh, that's part of it. And, and look, I think. Um, I wouldn't read too much into interceptions and things of that nature. I'm, I'm talking from the quarterback perspective in this, you know, part of training camp because this is where, like, like we're trying to get the timing and the rhythm and what can we do and what can we not do, what can't we get away with, and and so uh, I just think that's part of the process. Um, but yeah, I think you know from a defensive perspective, it's good to see. I think takeaways is is probably the other than you know scoring offense and scoring defense. That's the next most valuable. Uh, you know, predictor of winning games. Dennis, I know this is a shorter practice today, but this is indicative of what you expected, right? Weather-wise, yeah. getting all the work in. Yeah, look, I mean, um, you know, it's 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 certainly not the, the, the weather that we have, you know, back home in terms of the heat and humidity, but, um, you know, there, it, was, it was a little warm out here today, but I, I think, you know, overall, I think it's about what we expected. With Willie's skill set, does that kind of – as a, as a defense kind of force you to take a step back and think of ways to use him that maybe you have in the past? Yeah, look, I, well, I would say this. I'd say number one, I'd say what we've done around here defensively in the scheme that we've utilized has been pretty effective in our league. Um, and so, but within that, we're always trying to adapt the scheme to what our players can can do well. And so I think that's a twofold deal. I think Willie's got to make sure that he's understanding what we're asking him to do and how we're asking him to do it and be able to execute that at a high level. And then our job is to figure out the things that he does really well and try to put him in those positions as much as we can. All right. Thanks, guys.